Welcome back guys and today we are going to compare two versions of NiceHash Miner, the newest version, version 2.022 and the NiceHash Legacy version, version 1.8111. And the reason why am I going to do this is because some people reported better hash rates on the older legacy version of the miners. And the newest version 2 is recommended for NVIDIA because it has some problems with AMD cards but if you are running NVIDIA card you can download the legacy version and it will work without any problems. But the difference is just in a little bit of optimization. This is for NVIDIA and this is a little bit more optimized for AMD cards. There is also a little bit newer version of Legacy, version 1.9, but this is still in alpha and I am going to compare it tomorrow most likely, but right, right now let's just do it with version 1.8.1, which is the recommended version by NiceHash. So I have run benchmarks on both of the miners and they are pretty fresh. So let's just go to the hard details and click on our GPU and over here let's just go to the benchmarks and click on the GPU. So those two screens are pretty small and I don't know if you can see all the numbers perfectly but just put the video in the 4K resolution and you should be fine. So let's compare them one by one. The first one is Ketsuk. On version 2 it gets 1.4 giga hashes and on the on the legacy it gets 1.3 giga hashes. But if you are running CC minor Alexis it gets 1.284. So Ketsuk is better on version 2. Next one is NewScript, it gets 1.78 and here it gets 1.44. So this one is a lot better on the version 2. Next Lira 2 Revision 2, it gets 70.4 and over here it gets 68 MHz per second. So it's still better on version 2. The next one is Daigar Hashimoto, it gets 30.2 and on legacy it gets 31.7 so this is a little bit better on legacy and if you are only mining uh, ethereum you can use the legacy version and it will work better than the version 2 if you are mining dagger hashimoto with pascal you will get 26 and 1.1 and over here you will get 31 and 0 0.3 so it is still better on legacy and all of the dual mining options are a little bit better on the legacy version just because the Dagger Hashimoto is more optimized on this one. So next one is Decred Mining and on the version 2 it gets 4.76 and over here you can see the Decred gets 4.57 so a little bit better on version 2. Libre gets 468 compared to 477. So Libre is just a little bit better on the legacy version. Next one is Equihash, it gets uh, 698 and over here if you are mining with Excavator you get 636, if you are mining with EWBF you get 685 and if you are mining with DTSM you get 690. So still a little bit better on version 2. The next one is Pascal, on version 2 it gets 1.86 and over here it gets 1.74, so better on the legacy. But it doesn't matter because a lot of those algorithms that are better on legacy are now ruined by ASIC machines and you cannot mine them profitably. Or if you can mine them profitably, you could also be mining a lot of other algorithms with a lot higher profits. So next is SIA, it gets 2.87 here and on the old version it gets 2.996 so also better on legacy but it doesn't really matter next Blake to s it gets 6.68 and over here you get 6.29 so better on version 2 and i have kryptonite v7 here which i cannot mine on this version of legacy miner but i also have skunk with cc miner which i cannot mine on the version 2 so, as we can see, the NiceHash Miner version 2 is a little bit better on the algorithms that really matter. But if you are mining uh, only Ethereum, you can absolutely use the legacy version 1.8. It will give you a little bit like 3 to 5% better results depending on your GPU. But also, if you are using an AMD card, you might get even a little bit more boost than 3 to 5%. But a lot of the other algorithms that are better on the legacy version don't really matter because if they are giving you below 10,000 satoshis per day on something like GTX 1080 Ti, which I have right here, then they are not even worth mining. 
So, I hope that I answered some of your questions that you might have, which one is better, version 2 or the legacy, and if you are still using legacy, you can switch without any problems and leave legacy where it belongs. So, thank you guys for watching this video, let me know what you want to see in another one, and see you soon. Bye.